Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Uh, I want to talk to you about a set of uh, two sets of insulated screwdrivers that I purchased a while back. Um, these are made in the UK, and I'm sure these probably come from China. Now, uh, you know, they, if nothing else, they they look pretty. <laughs> they look really nice. Uh, this blue, I've never I purchased them because I never I never seen a, a blue uh, a set of um, insulated screwdrivers. Well, the color caught my eye, and they were cheap. That was another thing that got me to uh, to purchase them. I never seen anybody do a review on this this type of uh, insulated screwdriver before. Anyway, I've seen them on eBay uh, several times, uh, many times, and they're real cheap. Like for example, this set right here, the red set there, I think I paid anywhere, I think it was like 10 to $15 for this set of seven. This set of five, I paid something like 10 or $11 for it with free shipping uh, on eBay. And um, if nothing else, I say I'll throw them on my, on, on my lab table and I use them on low voltage things I have around the house. Uh, but I, as, as me being a professional, I would never bring them out to use them or anything other than that. So in other words, they would never leave uh, this this my home like talking about it. Now, I can see myself using the smaller ones, the number zero um, uh, Phillips screwdrivers and the, the, uh, the, num the number zero slotted. I can see myself using those probably on a thermostat or doing some of the terminating work or something like that. But... You know, I don't think I use these because I do have some better insulated screwdrivers in my bag, that, and so there will be no need to use these uh, out in the field. <clears throat> so I bought these mainly just to stick on my desk, uh, my lap table, when I'm doing work around my house or showing my son how to do electronics and, and so on and so forth. We can just grab these. But I won't recommend these because, you know, even though they say a thousand volts and they have the code in which they've been tested under, uh, you know, they even have a stamp right there. Um, you know, I don't know who made them. They don't have no name of a um, no name at all of the company that made these. Um, and this one have the company have some company the name of its pro user, but they don't have the uh, code on which it's been tested or the voltage or what they're rated for. So you know, I mean, what that tell what that tells me that you know my you know don't use them. Uh, you know, is that, you know, in other words, use them at your own risk. Uh, so, like I said, I won't use these uh, in the field, just on my desk. Now, if you're looking at this 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 shrink wrap around here, I put these around the tip of these things here, being a, and I put them on all of my insulated screwdrivers because if I'm using these, you know how sometimes the, the tip of it get all tore up from you sticking it inside of uh, panels and, you know, breakers and, and it get tore, tore up, and it kind of uh, damages the integrity of the, integrity of the, of the um, of the material, so I put that round there like a you know like a, a, a safety, a second form of protection, uh, and I have it on those as well. I haven't did these just yet, uh, but I plan to do these also. Put some shrink wrap just to, uh, to protect the integrity of the of the uh, of the coating. Now, uh, you know, do I think they will hold up? They feel pretty good. They, you know, I think they they would hold up, but I don't want to be taking a chance on it just seeing. You know, I may put them in, put put them through some kind of test just to see if they would. If they, are. I know this is non conductive uh, conductive material, uh, this this hard uh, composite material right here. But you know, still, I wouldn't bring them out in the field to do the type of work I do. Like I just said, maybe these <clears throat> these the the, the zero um, <clears throat> size Philip and the zero size. Um, slide it, <clears throat> probably bring those out, you know, use them on terminating something, uh, small screws and, and a panel or what have you. But, all, you know, uh, I, you know, I don't see me doing it anytime soon also because I have small terminating insulated screwdrivers for that purpose. Uh, but other than that, you know, they, they really do feel um, feel good in the hand. Uh, this composite material, right, it, it, it really do feel good in the hand, but they have all the telltale signs of um, saying don't don't use these professionally. So I don't recommend it, you know. And, um, you know, uh, better than that, it's a nice, shiny, beautiful-looking set of screwdrivers. And that's about it. So um, and I, I think I, that I mentioned already, these come from the UK, and I, and I, and I truly believe these come from, from China. I bet they're from China. Uh, China or Taiwan, uh, or Taiwan or something like that. Uh, I, I, I do believe that. 
So uh, I won't I won't hold you guys long. I, you know, it's not, it, I can give you no hour video or a half hour video just talking about screwdrivers, and, and I don't have anything to, else to add to it. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And don't while we're talking, don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel. Hit that that uh, bell for so you receive notifications from me and of uh, my up and coming videos. And check the channel out, uh, Electrician's Tool Channel, so you can see uh, my previous videos. I'm sure that I've reviewed something, um, some electrical tool that you may find interesting. So don't forget that. Leave, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you choose to do that. Uh, with that being said, fellas, I want to tell y'all thank you and peace out.